Oh my goodness. I I don't even know. Honestly, I know why I haven't been vlogging. It's because I kind of find it pointless. Um Yeah, but I'm back with a vlog. Um so basically today is Tuesday and I'm trying to get my life together before my MPFL surgery tomorrow. So today, I'm going to vlog throughout the week, I think. Not just today. But as of right now, I made some soap earlier. I'm trying to get my life together. So I have to clean up my room, do laundry, and I'm trying to make some Amber Arter products so that I don't have too much to do once I get the surgery. Like, I could just worry about packaging orders. Um, so yeah, and then right now I'm about to go to Sephora, my VIB sale stuff finally shipped, but I'm going to pick up another of the Kiehl's Calendula face wash, because apparently it's like really good and it's on sale, and I have the 20% off, so I'm just about to go pick up a third bottle. I don't know if I like it yet, but I'd rather have all of them while they're on sale than wait and find out that i like it and then have to pay full price later on so yeah that's what i'm about to do and then when i come back i'm gonna eat i have to stop i'm trying to make this like it sounds dramatic but this is like my last meal before my surgery not really i guess i'll be having dinner but um i have to stop eating at midnight so yeah i'm trying to spoil myself right now while I can because I won't be able to drive for some time um so yeah I'm about to go with my sister to pick up the Sephora order and then get my food I have to feed her as well and yeah so basically where I've been is I have I came to the conclusion that maybe I shouldn't vlog because I feel like vlogs don't really pick up unless like you get lucky when you don't have an audience. So my plan is once I actually start doing more videos is I want to focus on like the beauty um niche and then build my audience from there. And then hopefully my audience wants to see my daily life. And that's when I'll probably be more consistent with the vlogs. Because right now it kind of makes no sense to vlog when it's like only my close friends watching it. If that makes sense. I don't know. It makes sense in my head. So whatever. Um, so yeah. And then I really haven't picked up this camera since like my birthday. And obviously my birthday vlog did not happen. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to, I know my mind is like all over the place, but I'm trying to figure out, I don't even have a cleaner for this. I'm trying to figure out if I like these sunglasses now. To me, they look small on me. Um, but then yesterday I compared them to my high key from Key. The high key glasses from key i feel like everyone knows what those are um and they're pretty much the same size so i don't know if my eyes are tricking me or what but i got these on sale i think they were like 50 percent off um so yeah i'm trying to figure out i hate when i have a fuzzy they look good right Maybe it's just all in my head. And it doesn't help that my head is like really big. But it's okay. So I'm about to leave. My sister's walking the dog. And yeah, I hope I don't pick up anything else in Sephora. I'm trying to figure out what to get my mom for Mother's Day. Uh, we went to Sephora the other day and she mentioned a perfume that she liked. But honestly, I'm really bad at listening. So I don't really remember which one it is. And then um what else she says she wants a pair of sandals because she's going away in may but the sandals i wanted to get her the reviews have mixed reviews about how comfortable they are and i don't want to get her some shoes that aren't comfortable so yeah um so yeah i'm getting ready to have my dinner this piece of hair right here there we go um 
and I take my sleep medicines. Mm. And then, oh yeah, so when I didn't come back on camera, I ate my food. It was so good. And then I made some lotions. Let's see, let's see. I guess it's when you make home lotion. When you make homemade lotion, it has like a foam to it a little bit, but it's really lotion, so don't get scared. But it's in my peony one, and I made an unscented one but then i realized i ran out of one of my ingredients my emulsifying wax so i couldn't make any more not that i ran out i don't have enough for more so i had to do an urgent order of that and then yeah i was gonna make whipped body butters but i really just want to get in bed and i have laundry going right now i really don't want to do that and then what else yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm probably going to be really cold tomorrow because I have to wear loose clothing. So, I'm going to wear a t-shirt dress just to make my life easier. And I'm not really looking forward to having only one functioning leg. This is going to be hard. Like, this is going to be very hard. And then I honestly didn't... I honestly didn't need to wash my hair. I actually still got a pedicure today, but whatever. Um, I sh didn't need to wash my hair, but I did it because I don't know what it's gonna be like to wash my hair. Like, I don't know when's gonna be the next time that I'm gonna be up, like I'm gonna feel okay to wash my hair. So yeah, so then I had to order some of those fine wax. I'm like all over the place. I had to order some of those fine wax. I went to make body oils today, but I didn't have any fractionated coconut oil. So I had to go and order fractionated coconut oil. I did like a huge bulk order. I think I ordered like seven pounds because I use it in my oils. It goes really quick. And then I ordered more of my peony fragrance and more colloidal oatmeal more sodium hydroxide which is basically lye um that's what makes soap soap and there was something else i ordered from bamboo berry i think i ordered more coconut milk powder i'm trying to come up with a name for my two spring scents so one is a peony floral kind of scent and the other one is a coconut scent right now honestly when i posted it i don't really know if like i wasn't really thorough so i put like a a question thing on my business instagram page and i put a question box for people to submit their ideas for names right so in the description i put peony floral spring inspired name insert idea below so now when i put peony in there i put that as like me saying the scent smells like peonies and i said floral so that the names are like floral related i didn't want people to give me names of other flowers i was just like what in the world i don't even understand and then i have the coconut one so the suggestions i got only one of them worked the others were they didn't make sense um so i have three options for my peony scent and it's spring fling peony me please and bloomy petals now peony me Pe peony me please is my favorite one but my friend replied and told me that it sounds like some r kelly mess like pee on me please and i was like dang you just ruined the name for me so i might do spring fling instead even though i really like peony me please and then for the coconut one i have sunny days gone coconuts and just beachy gone coconuts is my favorite name but i don't want people to get it and then not think that it smells like coconuts because that's stupid so i might do just beachy but it doesn't really smell like the beach either so i don't know so today is the day after my surgery i honestly didn't really vlog yesterday everything just went really fast um i i got there at nine i wasn't seen well i wasn't in the operating room until 11 30 
and then I woke up still in the operating room because there was no room in the recovery room so we were waiting for a spot and then what in the world and then um when I was in the recovery room I needed some pain meds because my knee was just on fire and then I was sitting there for a little bit waiting for a spot in the ambulatory room and then I went there but basically I got to the hospital at 9 a.m. I wasn't discharged until 6 o'clock and the surgery itself was only like two hours so the rest of it was me just sitting around um so yeah I left the hospital with my leg being numb from the knee down because of the nerve blocks and this was my first time using crutches so I kind of got scared when I was using crutches because my surgery was on my dominant leg so I thought I was gonna forget to not I thought I was gonna forget to not use my dominant leg but yeah I woke up and the feeling is coming back it's pretty much not numb anymore except for my heel um yeah and I just took some oxy because my knee is killing me all right so this is my brace and then this is the dressing they have on here the pain is, I'm assuming, from the incision, which is, like, right here. And I think there's one right here. It literally feels like my skin is burning. Um, my brace isn't locked straight, but it is locked to a certain degree. I actually have no idea what degree it's locked on. But, yeah, I surprisingly slept really well because I just, like, hugged my body pillow. I put my... my um bad knee on top so i was like wrapped around it so i slept pretty good uh, the stairs in my house they're like really hard to use but it's okay i went upstairs by myself and i came downstairs by myself today and everything was fine i'm really just like i need this oxy to kick in like asap watching youtube right now i got all my sephora stuff in the mail so i really want to do my video but my knee is just not having it right now so i'm about to just probably lay down and i'll probably end up taking a nap because oxy does make me sleepy i finally showered today they said i could shower on the third day technically the third day is saturday i just didn't wet my leg and also um tomorrow my bandaging can come off not the not the stickers that are covering my stitches but yeah but i'm pretty sure that's off of one of my incisions one of my incisions looks so bad um i actually need to ask my doctor about that i i was trying not to take the oxy but the pain is so bad when i like i'm i have to try to be mindful to not flex my knee like just regularly it's just it's very exhausting having to remind myself not to flex my knee um because it hurts so bad this morning when i woke up i thought i was so i knew i couldn't stretch how i normally stretch because my leg but i didn't realize i was still flexing my right leg i thought i was just flexing my left leg and i literally thought my knee was gonna explode like it's so it's such a throbbing feeling it's very annoying my post-op is the 26th and then i'm supposed to have pt before then but i'm waiting for my insurance to figure something out i don't even know honestly yeah that's where i'm at with it and i'm doing my ice therapy thing it's gotten better i feel like i can actually tell that it's helping at first i couldn't at first i thought it was just cold but yeah i'm just so glad i showered today like i i didn't feel dirty but after the shower i was like wow i feel like a new person like it actually made such a big difference so i completely went mia for like three days or two days i think the last time i picked up the camera it was on the third day of my surgery a quick update is so my pain isn't all that bad um it does get uncomfortable if i'm just on my feet for too long which i feel like is expected and then i take my pain meds i don't really take them throughout the day but i do take them before bed 
just to ensure that it doesn't hurt because when i flex my muscle by accident like when i'm sleeping or something it does hurt um so yeah that just helps it out and it helps knock me out i am sleeping pretty comfortably when it comes to like the position i'm a side sleeper i don't really sleep on my stomach too much so that's why i feel like the whole sleeping thing isn't too bad one of the steri strips came off of my one of my incisions and the incision looks so ugly but it's okay my post-op well my first post-op is on monday so i'm trying to i'm trying to survive until then i'm getting ready to do a youtube video i've been trying to make my amber artist stuff because i want to restock and release some products i think friday i don't know if you can hear it but my um my cryotherapy machine is on because earlier i was upstairs making a whole bunch of amber artist stuff and my leg was just like so swollen because i really was not sitting down um my brace falls off which also in turn like which also um wow my hair looks a disaster it falls off my leg it slides down my leg so then it kind of like sits on top of my incision and it really hurts so i asked him if there's anything that i can do about that he said sliding isn't common i'm not asking if i have like some type of condition i don't know how braces don't fall but whatever um so he said just to use my crutches the crutches are the most annoying thing i went to the mall yesterday with my mom and we went to sephora and we got cheesecake factory and just from that like my leg was just really swollen i think i'm not i think because i don't feel terrible i'm forgetting the fact that i got surgery less than a week ago so i need to chill out um so yeah but i'm about to do a youtube video of my sephora my sephora items that i got during the vib sale um we love the vib sale but sephora is really dumb sephora is really stupid because that little point system is pointless because so every 500 points is ten dollars you can't use your points you can't use the ten dollars when there's a promo going on and you also can't use more than one at a time like sephora really is stupid this is why i like ulta but yeah so i'm about to do this really quick i guess i'll i'll talk to you while i do my makeup what will i do i'm going to spot conceal first now what am i gonna spot conceal with is the question i don't like priming my face i want it to be like a pretty natural video i might maybe i will put some concealer under my eyes just a little bit because i'm looking a little bit dead but i'm not trying to do a full face especially because i don't know i got a lot going on the stupid ice machine is going to be blowing mine in the video probably but i honestly don't know how much it picks up so i guess we'll see i need to sign up to get my covid vaccine i need to start looking at hope has appointments available it's really crazy because i'm literally only putting product here all right i'm gonna put a little bit of powder all right let's see what this charlotte tilbury is heading for i feel like i look a little bit crazy but it's okay now she said to put it on the high points so i have to super break out my chin so and this is in the shade 6.5 she's a little dark it looks like but but we're gonna see how i feel like i'm probably the shade or I would be a shade between 6.5 and 6. It looked really good on my hand, but I'm going to spray something on my face. Oh, let me try out that, this Danessa Myrix, I think it's called. Let me try this out as my highlight for today. So they were sold out of the shade Hot Water, I think it's called. So I picked up Dew Wet, I mean Morning Dew, which I think is, I don't even know. It's not silver, but it's not as gold as I would like. Oh no, it is gold. Just kidding. It was actually really pretty um wow it looks really good not my face but that Dan that danessa myricks thing that's gonna be bomb in the summer my leg is so cold like so so cold i just finished that little haul video it was super quick hopefully i like it those type of videos are like my favorite because they just um you just talk right through them so yeah that's why i like them my i need to keep icing my knee my knee is bothering me <sighs> i'm 
over it. I really love this Danessa Myrick. So while I was filming it, I figured, while I was filming the video, I figured I would just like check if they have the hot water shade of the Danessa Myricks. I feel like it would look really good, if not now on my skin, when I'm tan. Um, so I looked online and the Sephora by me actually does have it. So I put it for a pickup order. I didn't use the 20% because... I think the product is $22, 20%, it would have been like $4.40 off. So I just used one of my $10 off since it seems that I'll never be able to use them. Um, so yeah, my knee looks, it's actually really bothering me. This is what my knee is looking like. This is one of the big incisions. It looks so ugly. I feel like my leg looks so swollen. So the stair strips came off of this one. I don't know how. And then this, I think, is the other big scar. And then these two are the two microscopic situations he did that he put a camera through them. It's been so long. I can't even tell you the last day I was on camera because I don't remember. As you just saw, I'm currently hooked up to my game ready machine thing, ice machine. Yeah, so I'm just sitting here. It's about tomorrow makes two weeks since my procedure. I'm feeling pretty good. No more pain meds. Um, I was able to get in the shower regularly. So basically before when I would shower, I would put my good leg in, which is my left leg. I would put that in first, then sit on the shower chair and then pick up my right leg because one, it didn't have the strength to lift on its own. And then also I can't really bend it or I couldn't really bend it so it just helped me maneuver it but yesterday I was able to just step in regularly I was a little bit cautious but just the fact that I was able to do it without the shower chair was amazing I still do use the shower chair to shower because um, I haven't really weaned off my crutches yet so I don't want too much weight on my bad leg um, I'm doing PT twice a week and the doctor yesterday was my first post-op he took the stair strips off my incisions um and he said everything looks good um he was surprised that my leg can bend at 90 degrees i i don't know what it's usually like but like when i dangle like when i relax my leg and i just let it dangle it is at 90 degrees which i guess is good but i hate physical therapy like just because it's so slow moving i'm just like so over it but i need to like remember to use my crutches i'm very lazy about using my crutches because they're just like a burden you know but anyways while i'm sitting here i got a gymshark order um i've been living in my gymshark shorts i don't really like to put leggings on over my incisions because they're so like dry so I feel like the leggings get stuck on them. I just don't really like the feeling. So I just got more Gymshark shorts. I got seven pairs, I think. Yeah, I got seven pairs. I got four pairs of... 
hold on let me just unpackage these so here's what i got this is taking quite a while to unpackage um but yeah so that's basically where i'm at at first i was regretting the surgery as of right now it's not too too bad it's not bad at all um it's just like the stairs i'm still weary going up and down them this game ready thing goes back i think on wednesday the people we got it from biodynamics i think they're called they uh they let you rent it in two week increments i don't really think i'm gonna need it for more than two weeks so since tomorrow's two weeks i think they're coming to pick it up which i'm very surprised but it's free of charge so that works all right so here's what i did so i got four of these and i have a pair of these already these are the energy seamless shorts ex energy seamless shorts in black and i got the size extra large the band i feel like is small so that's why i kind of like that size and then it has like this little detail right here of like little holes um it's just like a little cute detail i love to wear those with hoodies t-shirts all that and then i got four pairs wait a second oh no i got three pairs i got three pairs of these um i believe these are longer than those where's the tag is there no tag okay i guess there's no tag jump shark okay i deleted it so let's find it i'm quick to delete emails i'm very anal about my emails these ones without the hole are the gymshark vital seamless 2.0 shorts i have the vital seamless leggings i think i love them which is why i got the shorts now i wish gymshark would have shorts that are just like plain black biker shorts no holes no little designs because these have little designs i don't know if you can see it yeah i'm about to do my mascara i mean my perfume favorite my knee is feeling really tight today but it's okay everything is under control so funny story it's not really that funny well not to you guys but anyways as you have seen already i got surgery right so i was texting my best friend in our group chat and i was like oh am i getting baked by melissa as my surgery gift and she flat out said no right this was like i don't know if this was before i got the surgery or if this was after but whatever so she said no and two days ago i was like i really want some baked by melissa i'm also pmsing so that's probably part of it <clears throat> but yeah so i ordered myself oh my god i got mascara on the bottom whatever so i um i ordered myself 50 cupcakes from baked by melissa because I wanted them. I feel like I deserved it. And I ordered them. Today's Wednesday. I ordered them Monday. And I ordered them to be. I had them scheduled to be delivered today. So my sister's walking the dog. And she tells me I have a package. So I go outside. And I see two Bake by Melissa boxes. And automatically, I knew exactly who sent them. And I just started dying. Because the same thing happened for my birthday that I told her I wanted Bake by Melissa. I'm pretty sure she blew me off. So I ordered myself Bake by Melissa. And she ended up getting me Bake by Melissa. So, same thing happened today. She sent me Bake by Melissa cupcakes. So now I have... 75 cupcakes but i'm supposed to see her on saturday so i'm gonna just bring a pack over there and we can share it together yeah it, she's fed up with me for real for real but yeah so right now i'm getting ready to do this perfume favorites video 
I've come to realize that I like videos where I get ready before filming. I don't know why, but it just seems like easier to me. Alright, so let me get this video out of the way. This might be the end of this vlog. Well, no, I said I was going to go until the end of the week. So if I don't come back on camera today, probably I'll be back tomorrow before my physical therapy at 10 in the morning. I'm currently rushing to get ready. Uh, I'm running late. Um, oh my god, I still have mask on the side of my face. Um, today's gonna be the day that I'm gonna test out the setting sprays that I got in my Sephora haul, which are the milk makeup and charlotte tilbury and then also with the milk makeup gripping primer so this is gonna see if it really is mask proof because it's really mask proof for my friend amber so i guess we'll be finding out because i have to go in the store to sephora i have to go to sephora bath and body works and party city because i want to get number balloons i'm going to sephora to get a gift card um and then bath and body works i wanted to get her some candles but honestly the gift box my nail keeps getting caught and everything and it's driving me insane um the gift box that i got her can't fit anything else so yeah but i'm gonna show you guys what i'm wearing probably after um it looks terrible on me, but whatever. It's like the seamless set from Zara. But yeah, so the goal is a light, fresh makeup. I really don't want to wear lashes, but I'll wear lashes. I'm about to put some music on and then just like speed through my makeup. So, so I just finished my makeup and then I took everything off because it was just not as light as I wanted and I've come to the conclusion that today might not be an accurate uh accurate I don't even know what word I'm trying to say yeah I don't think today's gonna be an accurate judgment of the milk makeup stuff just because now I'm doing more of a dewy lightweight which is what I initially wanted I don't know why I went in with all that stuff before um it just kept piling and piling up but it's okay so right now i'm trying to hurry up now i'm gonna be even more late so the joke's on me and then i also had to waste a stupid contact because when i was doing my makeup i got powder on my contact and i guess it just was not coming off so yeah i'm literally a joke i have not ironed the top the button down thing that I'm wearing. I also don't know how I'm going to get my shoe on. Because of my knee. And I feel like Converse are just. They're just the problem child. Like they just take forever. To. I mean they, they give such a hard time to go on. So. 
and i can't believe i just took all that makeup off and i really like i hate when i do that because then when i reapply makeup i feel like it doesn't go on the same so i literally took it off with base and the crazy thing is that i have this robe on so that it doesn't get on my top and the robe keeps putting opening um what was i saying oh yeah so i took the makeup off with my micellar with my micellar water and i had to wash my face i washed it twice with my purity to ensure that we get a smooth application because it really wasn't the product's fault it was my fault oh and it works out because now i don't think i'm gonna put lashes on <laughs> I need a nap now. Now let's do my pretty little thing package. So I also got some stuff from Misguided last week. I returned some of it. Oh my God, what is this? Oh my God, what is that? Of course it's been a couple days cause I don't know how to get on this camera consistently. So yeah, last time I was on here, I said I was getting ready for my friend's thing. That came and went. I definitely did not show my outfit. <laughs> I forgot. I was running so late. I'll probably insert a photo here or something. Um. So yeah, that happened on Saturday. Sunday, I didn't really do much. So yeah, yesterday and Sunday, I didn't do much. Today, I woke up. I... I had to take Casper to get groomed and then I went and got my first dose of my vaccine and then I went to go pick Casper up and now I'm back I'm about to upload my fragrance video to YouTube I hope it's perfectly fine because I hate re-watching my videos like it really just gets on my nerves so yeah that's going on I do have a pretty little thing order right here that I might show well not might I'm gonna show you guys what I got but I'm not gonna try anything on because one I hate trying stuff on and two I am bleeding to death so yeah I don't really feel like getting in and out of clothes since it's Tuesday I don't know when I'm going to like post this vlog I don't know if I should finish it for another week or maybe I should start editing it uh, i don't know this is going back it looked better online who did i think i was ordering this no she's going back so yeah this was well this is a cheetah print midi dress but i really don't like how it looks why is this crunchy oh <laughs> just kidding she's cute I just don't really understand. Oh my god, she's sheer as hell. I can see my pillowcase through her. She just has no stretch. Like, at all. I don't know if I should keep her or not. We'll see. I'm like really bad at showing these, but then if I were to stand up and show you, I feel like I'm too far. This dress I thought is so cute. With, I thought it would be cute with some uptowns. But I realized I returned my uptowns. I don't know why I did that because I'm pretty sure they're gonna sell out now that summer is coming. Look how cute! And she like goes, she's like really long. But I'm pretty sure she goes to my ankles. Like she looked so cute online. Hopefully she looks cute on me because I do like it with some white sneakers or something. She's cute, right? 
She's like a ribbed short sleeve dress with a zipper. Very cute. She's very cute, very casual with some sneakers, of course. It's not even giving what y'all said it was supposed to give. Nah, she's going back. Oh, wait, she is cute. It's a little plaid dress. Button down. This candle's kind of ugly. First of all, she's huge. She's a mammoth, of course. <laughs> she's... Hmm. She's thin. I'll, I'll give her that. She's thin. I'm thinking about doing, like, reviews on products that I buy. Like, bags or something. I would do shoes, but I don't really get that many shoes, I feel like. I want to do... Yeah, I feel like that's pretty much it. Um, so right now I'm about to make some soaps and stuff, but let me show you these little things I made. So I decided to make some bath soaks and this is them, right? So each tea bag is one use. Honestly, I guess someone could split it up if they wanted to, but the purpose is that there's no mess to clean up. So yeah, I got those boxes in. I think what I'm going to do is I want to... I want to tie them like a bakery, like a pastry box, and then get a custom stamp, like regular ink stamp, and put like maybe Amber Arter here, and put a tag on it, a tag that I use on my scrubs if I have one made. So like a tag like this on the bow would be fantastic. Um, right now I'm about to make some soap but i'm pretty sure i'm running low on coconut oil so i need to get coconut oil eventually probably tomorrow but i'm gonna make my morning delight soap and the problem is that i have to make my soaps like asap because they have to cure for four weeks so i'm gonna make a morning delight and a cocoa cashmere i think um i haven't decided if i'm gonna use any micas i might use these micas that i got Oh god but they're like i don't know they're brown orange and yellow i feel like that would be cute but yesterday let me tell you what happened so i made body creams yesterday and i had to trash one of the scents because i don't know if it was the fragrance oil or it was the preservative that it literally was making the bowl like disintegrate i stirred the the lotion and i scraped the spatula on the side of it literally the color of the bowl was on the side of it like it was it looked like a jelly like it was i was so annoyed like so annoyed so what i did today was i went to this culinary depot by me I never went in there before and I actually always forget that it's there but I looked online and I assumed that they would have like these soap making buckets that I always see people on YouTube use um so I was like let me just check it out the amount of stuff they had in there I was amazed but let me show you I got five of these little measuring cups I'm pretty sure these were like eight each uh I'm mean, not eight each a dollar each <laughs> um which was amazing everything that i'm about to show you was i think 33 dollars only which is not bad um oh this one i had already i got two of these measuring cups one big one like this and then i got two what are these four quart buckets perfect size and then i got two four quart square buckets i feel like these would be better to pour from so oh man the alcohol didn't dry up but yeah so i'm so excited i had to throw out two bowls last night that i had gotten i usually use the plastic bowls that i get from home goods but my dilemma is that i like to use those use those in the microwave to heat up the water um because my lotion recipes do require water but if i were to heat them up on the stove my measurements would be off because water evaporates so yeah, that's where I'm at with it. So I'm about to start making soap. I would show you while I make it, but um, I'm pretty sure my camera's gonna die like any second now, so. I 
I am packaging some soaps. I'm about to leave some out of the packaging because I need to take some product photos probably tomorrow. But I'm getting the rest of them together. I have two soaps launching this week. First of all, it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. I definitely did not show what we did today, like, at all. But we woke up um, pretty late, I feel like. We all woke up pretty late. And I gave my mom her gifts. And then we realized we were all starving. So then we went and... We went to get lunch at a diner. Um, then we went to Target. And then Ulta. No, we went to Ulta and then we went to Target. And then we came back home. It was a super chill day. Nothing really special that went on. Um, scars are healed for the most part. One of them, I don't know if the stitch isn't fully dissolved or what but it just doesn't look like it's 100 percent healed um but i'm working my way off of crutches my last pt session was the first time that they had me walk without crutches i mean it's not terrible it's just that sometimes my leg will buckle going down the stairs i can't imagine going down the stairs without a crutch like i don't even know how that's gonna happen but yeah so it's about to be one month it hasn't been as terrible as i thought it would be so it's whatever this is one of the soaps that i'm launching on this one's coming out tuesday the other one is coming out friday this is my spring bling it smells like flowers i thought i saw a bug um it smells like flowers and then this one is back to basics um no scent but colloidal oatmeal and coconut milk yeah that's it i do have another unscented bar that i'm calling spice of life which is named after one of my scrubs it's just that the spice of life so far doesn't have fragrance i just wanted it to have the uh, what you call that turmeric so yeah um and what helped me out when it comes to these soap labels is that i made this on can you even see it i made this on canva and then i got it printed at sticker mule um so it just says amber arter so far and then i put that dotted line there so i can write the names of the soaps because i don't know what flavors i'm going to be throwing out there so instead of limiting myself and having the the scents already printed on the label i can just write it myself now if i didn't have decent handwriting i would not be doing this so yeah i just write these all out and then i seal the baggies so i put it in like these wax paper bags i fold it down and i put that sticker to seal it and then on the back i put a sticker with the name of the soap again um the weight and the ingredients and directions in case anyone doesn't know how to use bar soap and i do need to get a custom stamp for my body soaks for the box so i'm gonna end this vlog here i'll see you in either my next video or my next vlog bye